historically in this country, we've had two opposing perspectives on bank regulation. We've had one perspective, which is often associated with the Supreme Court justice in the early 20th century, Louis Brandeis, which was we should break up big banks. The other perspective was a more corporatist perspective, which is a perspective that says big banks are inevitable. We should just manage them um, with the government. Um, the government should be given the tools to manage them. In the 1930s, these two perspectives um, clashed against each other, and we ended up in financial services with a model under the Glass-Steagall Act of the early 1930s that was the break them up model, was not the corporatist model. Striking thing about the recent uh, legislation is that was never the working model and it never was a serious consideration within the administration. The key decision makers in the administration, Timothy Geithner, Larry Summers in particular, were both corporatists. And the, the initial model for Dodd-Frank was a corporatist model and with some concessions to the alternative view at the end, we ended up with a, a very corporatist um, government bank partnership focus in the legislation. Well, I think one big f uh, f uh, danger in the legislation is a mixing of political and market factors. With, the, um, with this government bank partnership that we have, there's a real danger that many financial decisions um, particularly in times of crisis, will be made on political grounds rather than, than market grounds. So my real worry about the resolution rules is that they use this FDIC model in a context for which the model is not particularly well suited. The solution, in my view, is to, to focus more on bankruptcy as an alternative uh, for these institutions, at least wherever possible.